Today we're going to be comparing the two types of Otis Series 1, old versus new. Let's get started. Hello guys, welcome back to another Elevator Parts video. Today we're going to be comparing the two types of Otis Series 1, the old one versus the new one. Right off the bat, you can tell a difference in size, that the older one is larger and the newer one is smaller. Typically, older Series 1 panels have a lot more stuff on them, whether it be key switches, lights like this, or even analog floor indicators from time to time. Later, older Series 1s tend to have less stuff on them, but they can be about the size of this sometimes, though it's much more rare in the newer era than the old era. Although, you can often find flat older Series 1 button replacements on newer older Series 1s from time to time. Obviously, you can tell the button on the older ones, made from 1980 to 1993, are a lot more flat and push in as so. They don't push in that far considering how flat they are. Sometimes they can be very clicky, so depending on what they have on the back sides of them, but oftentimes they tend to be a little bit more firm sounding. Right down here, you got a priority service light, which I don't know why that's on here because there's no priority service key. And you also have a fire service key, which I do not have the key for right now. But you can turn it into three different directions on, off, and bypass. Now I'll take a new look at the newer Otis Series ones. These newer style buttons have actually been around since the 1980s, but are only really found in California around that time. Starting in 1993, these buttons started popping up more, and towards the discontinuation of Series 1, this was the newer button style that they used. As you can tell, the buttons definitely stick out a little bit more, but they basically price the same as older Series 1, despite the larger size. Down here, you'll see a fire service key. It's basically the same as the prior one, just a different cover on it but it does use the same exact key as the older one. Obviously, you can turn it into three different directions, and that's about it for this panel. Now, when you turn to the back side of it, you can definitely tell some differences right off the bat. Starting off with the older panel, these are the two buttons. These are basically lamp holders that light up the button. You got some four pin connectors, resistors, and all other stuff. You can definitely tell this one's a little bit newer considering that it's a little different color compared to the other two down here. This is the down button and this one you can definitely tell is a little bit more original and it's a bit beaten up as you can see. Down here is the priority service light. You got a, a free pin connector and two light holders as well as some resistors around it. Below that is the key switch which is about as simplistic as it looks. On the newer series one panel you can definitely tell some differences right off the bat. There is a 4-pin connector right here for both buttons, as well as some extra stuff, a smaller resistor, and some other stuff attached to it. You can obviously tell this is a little bit different considering there is no lamp holder for the light compared to the older one, which means it probably is built into the circuit boards. Down here, you got this uh, key switch base, which you can basically find on literally any other elevator panel or key switch. It's pretty commonly used back in the 90s and 2000s. And that is a quick comparison between the older and newer Series 1 buttons. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.